Take a look into the past at Sully Historic Site. Sully reflects the history of Fairfax County. Completed in 1799 by Richard Bland Lee, the main house at Sully combines aspects of Georgian and federal architecture. Richard Bland Lee was Northern Virginia's first representative to Congress and General Robert E. Lee's uncle. One room in the main house serves as a museum, displaying artifacts from the site and historical information. Guided tours highlight the early 19th century life of the Bland family, tenant farmers, and enslaved African Americans. We have um, daily tours except for Tuesdays. Um, generally we do them on the hour starting at 11. So they come in and uh, they learn about Richard Bland Lee, his wife Elizabeth Collins Lee. Uh, they go through the, all their rooms. They are guided tours. Thank you for coming on the Forgotten Road Tour. Forgotten Road Tour is a tour of the outside buildings, or as Mr. Lee called them, the dependencies or offices. And this is where some of the uh, enslaved people worked at Sully. At two o'clock each day, we do what we call the Forgotten Road Tour. And that starts under the covered walkway and goes into the outbuildings up by the house, the original buildings. And then again, we talk about the enslaved community, Thornton, the cook, and how he's cooking in, in that kitchen. Chicken could be put in on the spit, this is open to the fire and it would cook right. the chicken and then we talk about Madame Juba the laundress and then we end up down at our representative slave cabin and talk about how people lived in a small cabin like that. You could have 10 people living in a, a 16 by 20 space and you know quite a difference from the, the main house. In addition to the house and ground tours, Sully has designed an array of educational programs that bring history books to life. We do a wide variety of programs. One is our museum education, um, and we have four learning centers. We have slave life, kitchen, schoolroom, and textiles. Uh, we get from kindergarten to fourth grade, fifth grade. It's very hands-on. And you can dump it in? So the children are in the, the particular okay. center for an hour and a half and they all get a tour of the house but they're, they're learning things about the kitchen. They're making beaten biscuits. Uh, they're learning what it's like to cook in front of an open hearth fire or what the enslaved people did here on a daily basis. Throughout the year, Sully Historic Site hosts a number of special events including candlelight tours, the Civil War Encampment Weekend, the Antique Car Show on Father's Day and Cures for the Quarter. Cures from the Quarter um, looks at the way the enslaved um, took care of their health. And it looks at similarities and differences between um, what they did and what the Gentry family did. Um, and it's just really an interesting program because it does look at things that, as I said, we, we wouldn't even think of doing today. And then we have every Father's Day, we have our car show and that's one of our bigger events. Um, people make a tradition out of it and come out. The Visitor Center has been opened for about a year and a half. I think it officially opened September 2014. It's really great. Uh, not only is it, is it closer to the parking lot and people can go right in, but the space is larger. Uh, we can offer more merchandise. As a team, open up your envelope. We have a, a, a classroom there, so we do merit badge classes there, other um, scout programs, and then it's also available for rent if people want to do that. Sully Historic Site serves as one of the last reminders of the evolution of Fairfax County. Whether you take a tour, participate in educational programs, or attend a special event, you'll discover a unique learning experience in an authentic historic setting. Stop by Sully Historic Site and take a look into the past. For more information about Sully's programs and tours, visit our website or call 703-437-1794.